Howdy ho everybody, welcome back to the Rock's Roost and another exciting episode of Let's Play Fallout Free Blind. We're here at the Robco facility outside the shipping department. Our buddy Dogmeat is here somewhere. There he is. Uh, I came out this way because I wondered what this big tall building was here. So let's go check it out. Lots going on in the wasteland. Well... I guess. Kind of, sort of. It's rather imposing. Uh, I'm not seeing any red blips yet, so that's good. I should have my gun out. Just in case. Mm-hmm. We have a point of interest that way. And of course, this. This is quite the building. It's interesting that this has survived a um, nuclear bomb, nuclear blast. It's interesting that anything is here, really, considering. Especially these wooden structures. Uh, it's very unlikely those would still be there. Okay. So, let's see. Don't know how to get in here. Maybe the door is around the back? Maybe. Hmm. Interesting. What do we have over there? Some movement. Huh. Well, I wonder... There's a lot going on over here, actually. A um, bunch of points of interest. Points of interest. Well, let's stick to the plan. There's somebody. Ten Penny Tower. Okay. Someone mentioned this place... Oh. How many times do we have to go through this? You're not getting in. I can stand here all day yelling at you through this damn speaker if I have to. I've already told you Tenpenny won't allow zombies to live here. Who the hell are you calling a zombie? You're definitely not human, that's for damn sure. For the last time, no zombies allowed. Can't you tell the difference between me and a feral? Fine. I'll show you the goddamn difference. Just you wait. You'll get yours. All of you. Okay. Roy Phillips? What are you looking at? Well, I wasn't looking at anything. I just wanted to talk to you. I'm really not in the mood, so leave me alone. Okay, that's fair. I thought I told you to get the hell out of here. Tenpenny doesn't want your goddamn caps, and I don't want the goddamn headache. Okay. For the last time, get your rotten, ugly, goddamn ghoul ass off Mr. Tenpenny's private property. Uh, do you kiss your mother with that mouth? What? Oh, sorry about that. I thought you were one of those damn ghouls looking for a handout. You are currently trespassing on Alistair Tenpenny's private property. Do you have some reason to be here? I can help take care of the ghoul problem. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm here to see Tenpenny. I just want to look around. I won't hurt anybody. Well, I don't even know who the hell Tenpenny is. This ain't a theme park, kid. Even if it was, you wouldn't be able to afford the admission. Now bugger off. Uh, well, that's where you're mistaken. I do have thousands of caps, literally. That's where you're mistaken. Does 100 caps sound about right? Ah, oh, come on. Just a little while. I won't cause any trouble. Open the gate. I'm done being interrogated by you. 100 caps. Perhaps you'll fit in around here better than I thought. All right. I'll take your money. But don't press your luck. I got my eye on you. Don't bother Tenpenny or the other residents. If you so much as sneeze in the wrong direction, I'll gut you. You. No whammies. We're in. Welcome to Ten Penny Tower. 
Gustavo. Don't do anything stupid. So you're just a servant. This better be important. How's that ghoul situation coming along? That damn Roy Phillips won't take no for an answer. Mm. Keep showing up, looking for a handout. Heinous kind aren't wanted. End of story. If I were a betting man, I'd place a stack of caps on him trying something violent soon. Really? That would make Tenpenny nervous. I don't like it when Tenpenny gets nervous. But I can't spare the manpower to go hunt down Roy Phillips and his band of misfits. Or I'd gladly end this thing once and for all. I'm not interested in doing that. Um. Well, we know what ghouls are. Uh, perhaps the residents could be persuaded to let the ghouls live here. Have you even tried talking to the ghouls? I'll bet you can work something out. How about that? Tim Penny doesn't care how big their pile of bottle caps is. He won't let ghouls live here. Those ghouls need to give up and go bother someone else. Okay, well. It's not really any of my business. No, but perhaps it might be. I'm, I don't want to I don't want to go killing ghouls and I don't want to commit to not killing ghouls. I don't know what their story is. I'd like to talk to them myself. Um, so let's just change the subject. Uh, tell me about Alistair Tenpenny. He owns this building. We get our caps from him. And don't you forget it. All right. I do want to know where they're hiding, but I don't want to say I could help. I mean, maybe I could help, but not in the way they think. Okay. Really? You? You're welcome to give it a try. Don't come crying to me when you get hurt. They've holed up in the nearby metro tunnels. They're living with packs of feral ghouls. Be careful. Roy seems damn close to turning zombie himself. I suppose you won't be doing this out of the kindness of your heart. Hmm? How's 500 bottle caps sound? Payable upon termination of that damn ghoul, Roy Phillips, and all his followers. Yeah. Well, maybe you're right. It was something I was going to have to do eventually anyway. How about another 200 caps? And here, you can take this rifle and ammo. But you better not screw this up. Roy Phillips and his gang is somewhere in Warrington Station Metro Tunnels. They've barred the main entrance. Try going through the train yard. Hmm. What's it like living here? Ten Penny is always on time with money. And we get very comfortable digs with side. Trade? I guess we could do a little trading. Here's what I got. Hmm. We want that. For sure. No question. No question. And that's about it. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna buy them. A pleasure doing business with you. Have to go. It's dark in those tunnels. Shoot first and ask questions later. Okay. Well, again, I'm not committing to eradicating Roy Phillips because I need to know more. I'm not going to say I'm not going to. But whatever. Um, let's see. What kind of weapon did he? This the Chinese? Yeah. <laughs> A really crappy one too. Oh well, whatever. I never said you were. Come dog meat, let's go. This is the barracks kinda. Hello. I'm on duty, can't talk. Direct your security concerns to Chief Gustavo directly. Okay, makes sense. Can we go in to the tower, I wonder? I'm assuming this is an old hotel 
Hey there. You I live would here? Surely have perished if it wasn't for Mr. Tenpenny and his tower. Would you surely have perished? Hey. Well, well, what have we here? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Susan Lancaster. Perhaps we can become better acquainted in the near future. Why do all these women wear pink dresses? You bet. I like meeting new people. Me too. Especially rich, fine young men. Mm. Listen, <laughs> you look like you can handle yourself. You survived out there in the wasteland getting here after all. You ever have to deal with ghouls? All the time. I have a ghoul gun. You're exactly the kind of man we need around here. Chief Gustavo and his pack of goons aren't doing their job. Those ghouls keep coming back. Somebody's bound to get hurt sooner or later. You look somewhat ghoulish yourself. Those ghouls sure have people worked up, eh? Are you going to do something about the problem or not? <laughs> Say nothing. You're a bit of a loser, aren't you? What's it like living here? Beats living out there in the wasteland, trust me. See, I'm not like these other puffed up fogies. I earned my way into privilege. I worked to get here. I have to go. Later then. I'm not really interested in what she thinks about me, to be honest. Cafe Beaumont. Noodles. Who's this gulper? Yeah. Herbert Daring Dashwood? Uh, Dashwood. Damn glad to meet you. Call me Daring. Everyone else does. Probably not gonna do that. Shouldn't you be napping or something? Got a fire up your butt, huh? Better put that to good use. Go out exploring. Don't hang around these fools. You'll only want to blow your brains out. Ah, to yeah. be young again. You know the GNR radio play, The Adventures of Herbert Daring Dashwood? That's about me. Based on my early days. I had myself a ghoul manservant and everything. So, uh, you ever met a ghoul before? Yeah, okay. Yeah, so this is the guy on the radio. Sure, I've met some ghouls. They're just people trying to get by. Ah, you've already learned some wisdom in your youth. Congratulations. You mentioned something about GNR? Haven't you ever heard the radio play? Mm-hmm. The adventure of Herbert Daring Dashwood? Mm-hmm. That guy at the radio station put it together a few years ago. He did it in the style of those shows they had before the war. Came out pretty well. And it's all true. Rockopolis, Miss Chase, all of it. Of course, they do portray me as a bit of a chump. Argyle may have saved my hide more than once, but I had my moments. Ah, mm -hmm. those were the days. I bet you did. Tell me about Argyle. Argyle was my manservant. Mm -hmm. Ah, but that's really just a fancy word for the guy who saves my sorry skin on a regular occasion. He was a ghoul, you see. Been around since before the war. We met when I stole his girlfriend back in 41. We've been best friends ever since. We got separated a long time ago and never reunited. If you find Argyle out there somewhere, you be sure and tell me, okay? I will. I bet you know a thing or two about these ghouls. Some ghouls moved into the nearby metro tunnel. There's a bunch of the so-called feral ghouls in there, but a handful seem the sociable type. Mm -hmm. I've tried explaining to my fellow tenants that not all ghouls are monsters, but they don't seem to care. The intelligent ones should stay away from our trigger-happy protectors. If there are enough feral ones, though, eh, they could overwhelm security. Well, I can take care of this ghoul situation. Aha! An adventurous soul like myself. Mm -hmm. If I wasn't retired, I might come with you myself. What's it like living here? Well, until recently, the only danger you ever faced in this fine establishment was bumping into all the bloated egos floating around. Hmm. But now there's a group of ghouls nearby. I've tried explaining that they don't all want to eat you, though some do, of course. Problem is, it's hard to tell which is which. 
Chief Gustavo has initiated a shoot first and ask later policy. If they're smart, they'll stay away. Well, actually, the ones that will eat you do look a bit different, but I guess from a distance, maybe not. I'll have to go. Go get him. Go get him. Well, maybe he's not so bad. Howdy, Margaret Primrose. You're new around here. I'm Margaret Primrose. I run the Cafe Beaumont. Stop by sometime. I'm here now. Those ghouls have you stressed out? Chief Gustavo assures us that he's increased the number of the security team and will kill any zombies on sight. Well, I wonder if ghouls will like your cooking. I hope I don't have to find out, though. Everyone loves my cooking. Is that it? Okay. Come, dog meat. We have things to do. Well, I hope we find a Boutique Le Chic. I hope we find Argyle. The store. Welcome to Tenpenny Tower. Lydia Montenegro. Welcome to Boutique La Chic. Mm -hmm. I'm Lydia Montenegro, proprietor. Here you'll find only the best, with a price tag you can boast about to your friends. Okay, I hate you already. Whatever. Just try not to break anything, okay? Yeah. Uh, are you afraid of the ghouls trying to get into Ten Penny? If they got in here, they'd get their filth over everything. You can smell them a mile away. I hope they come back and get killed by security. Uh, good luck. Yeah, thanks. Uh, tell me about Alistair Tenpenny. He stays in his penthouse suite most of the time. So long as we pay the rent, he lets us live here. What's it like living here? Tenpenny is a classy place. Just look at me. Look at my shop. Can't find top shelf class like that anywhere else. I, I really dislike people like this. Uh, good thing the tower was still structurally sound after the war, yeah. Indeed. Though Tenpenny has put a lot of work into restoring it. And he's hired security to keep us safe. Mm -hmm. But they seem to be having some trouble with a pack of ghouls living in the tunnels nearby. Yes. Don't suppose you've encountered many ghouls on your travels? Oh, honey. I have a ghoul gun. Uh, yeah. Ghouls are alright. What? Have you lost your mind? No, some of them are alright. I'd like to do business with you. My boutique has many Not really, items, but I'm curious. Discerning customer. I don't want to shortchange myself because I'm always looking for 308 rounds, you see. Bubblegum. I think it's the first time we've seen that. Uh, we're good. Wood chipper. 50 pounds? What? That's awful. Okay, we're good. I have to go now. Until next we meet. Until. It's time for a little bite of something delicious. Like what? Would you notice if I went over here and locked picture safe? It's hard. That's what she said. She's gonna drink. Are you a drinker? Are you an alky? Yes. And yes, I can see you eyeing it. Edgar? Well, everybody in the world is just wanting to come in here all of a sudden, huh? Welcome to Tenpenny Tower. Yeah, generic resident. Evening. Irving Chang. I am Comrade Chang, beloved leader of the people, shining servant of the community. How can I help you? Kami, perhaps? People don't need leaders, just common sense. But not everyone has common sense, do they? True happiness flows from respecting those in charge because they have the happiness of the people at heart. Right. For example, I've appointed a committee to discuss this problem with the ghouls trying to get in here. You know anything about ghouls? I know everything about ghouls. It will take more than a committee to deal with the problem. I think I can help. Committees won't help. You need to simply ignore them or exterminate them. Don't worry about those ghouls, comrade. You need to relax. Perhaps you're I like right. that. 
My wife is always going on about how crazy I make her. Mm -hmm. What do you think of this whole situation anyway? I'm sure it will end in bloodshed. It's serious business, comrade. Stop calling me that. Uh, I think I can help with your ghoul problem. Perhaps, comrade, the ghouls will join your committee, comrade. Are you mocking me, comrade? <laughs> Do you think? Do you think? Sure. That was pretty good. Sure. That was pretty good. Hey there. Hey there. Hey there. How are, how's everybody doing? Well, this place is just Ego City, isn't it? Who are you? Dr. Banfield. This is the Ten Penny Wellness Clinic, and I am Dr. Banfield. Uh huh. I keep the residents healthy. Okay. Being a doctor is a great service to a community. Yes. The healing art is a rewarding occupation. Is there something I can help you with? Uh, know much about these ghouls? My current theory is that the destructive disease of the ghoul condition will always eventually render him little more than a mindless killer. The proverbial wasteland zombie with a predilection for raw human flesh. They can't be cured. And there's nothing to alleviate the symptoms. All in all, it seems rather sad, really. Hmm. I don't suppose you've consulted any ghouls on your theory. Well, not exactly. But my colleagues have published papers. Oh, I'm sure. I suppose someone ought to verify their findings. Perhaps I'll do that. Who knows? I might even finally get published. Oh, so you're less than. You're less than. By your own admission. I took the bottle caps. Yes, I did. Dog meat, you saw nothing. Probably not. These people are so far up their own hind ends. This is great. Are you the random person from the beginning? Hey there. Yeah. Are you going to sit here and drink? That's good. Drink the day away. Who are you? Good to see you. Generic man 36. Good to see you. All right. It's good to see you too. Good to see you. Michael Hawthorne. I'm Michael Hawthorne. Well, he looks like an alky, doesn't he? And more importantly, should I care? Uh, I'm your worst nightmare. I'm nobody in particular, but I'm sure you'll come to like me soon. I don't know. Oh, Maybe. Fine. We'll have to share a drink sometime. I'm always in the Federalist Lounge. There's certainly plenty to drink about. Take those ghouls, for example. Mm -hmm. Don't suppose you know anything about dealing with their kind, do you? Ghouls. Well, you can say I'm an expert when it comes to dealing with ghouls. Well, that's probably somewhat true. Let's say I never met a ghoul I liked. No, that's not true. Uh, look, I know enough about ghouls not to hate them. Oh, I see. Well, I've never met one, so I wouldn't know. I just always thought, I guess I really don't know what I thought. Glad I mentioned that. Uh, I suppose you don't know much about those ghouls, then. We haven't then. discussed this already? <laughs> Apparently, yeah. there's a pack of zombies living in the tunnels. Gustavo says he has it under control. I don't think he does. On the right side, it's given me another reason to hit the drink. Always on the bottle, huh? Um... Cheers. We shall simply have to ignore them until they bugger off. Yeah. What's it like living here, man? Well, it's a great place to live. If you don't mind ghouls breathing down your neck. I have to go. Oh, you're leaving now? Okay. Bye-bye. Sorry. Well, he's not so bad. Hey, Tiffany Chang. Ah, the Tiffany wife. Chang. My miserable excuse for a husband is Comrade Irving Cheng. And you could tell him I said so. So this is like the lady back in Megaton. Uh, disapproving of husband. Uh, Nathan in Megaton is a crazy, you know, uh, enclave patriot. And this Mr. Chang is some kind of commie. Oh, lovely. 
Uh, you put up with a lot from your husband, huh? Do you know he tried forming a committee to discuss the ghoul situation? A committee! He made himself chairman, of course. Of course he did. What we need is somebody to do something. Not just talk about it. I agree. Don't you know anything about <laughs> ghouls, do you? Well, actually... I could take a whole back of ghouls without breaking a sweat. I've dealt with enough ghouls to know I don't ever want to see one again. Stop worrying about the ghouls. I wish I could. I get nightmares from time to time. I'm sorry. What's it like living in the tower? It's very clean tower. And safe here. Well, mostly safe. They say those ghouls won't get in, but I don't know. Well, it didn't seem to me like Roy Phillips was wanting to get in for any bad reason. And, I mean, he probably wants to come in here the same reason the, these people wanted to come here. But what do you know about the ghouls anyway? They're living in the nearby tunnels. They scare me. Well, please. Why doesn't somebody do something? I'm going to go do something. I'll take care of it. Really? Chief Gustavo is going to want to hear about that. You should talk to him right away. I sure I have. It'll be okay. Just, just cool it. It'll be fine. I promise. Bye now. You've got a lot more sense than your poor husband. He's just fruitcake. <laughs> hey, Shakes. Are you the guy that's buried in the Good Springs graveyard? Welcome to the Federalist Lounge. I'm Shakes. Wet your whistle. I'd love a drink. I see, sir. Very well. May I pour you a drink? I love robots. Uh, and seriously, in real life, I love robots. Right now, I'm surrounded by plastic robots. Uh, you know anything about those ghouls trying to get in here? Don't you worry. <laughs> of course, the robot. About any such thing, okay. Sir. Care to wet your whistle? See, smartest guy in the whole place right here. Smartest guy in the whole place. They do have a lot of liquor here. That's good. I'm not going to mess with the computer. Okay, come on. You know, I really hope that that music playing is not copyrighted. That's going to be a problem, isn't it? Good to see you. Hello, Anthony. Welcome to New Urban Apparel. I carry the finest in pre-war clothes. Hurry up, let's get you out of those old rags and into something fabulous. Uh, I don't know. Y you really think you can improve my look? With my fashion sense and your bottle caps, there is no limit to what we can do for your image. I can't wait to get started. Consummate salesman, aren't you? Uh, what do you think about the ghouls? Are you worried? They were told they can't live here, but those zombies are too stupid to understand. Mm. They live in their own filth, squatting in the nearby metro tunnel. Security keeps shooting them, but they keep coming back. Well, I might be able to solve the problem. Hmm. You're certainly welcome to try, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Talk to Chief Gustavo. Yeah, I already have. What's it like living here, man? Only those deserving to live here can afford it. Deserving? And let me tell you, those who do live in style. I've noticed quality of living is rather high here. Well, it, it is. I bet people are dying to live here. You're all lucky. You can afford it. People are dying to get in here. Like those dirty ghouls. Or at least they should be dying. Security has got to get their act together. Right. But luck has nothing to do with it. We deserve this. All of it. Oh, really? Not everyone is as smart, as pretty, or as wealthy as the cream of the crop. Don't blame me. Blame Mother Nature. Survival of the fittest. It's the game of life. We're the winners. And those ghouls, they are definitely losers. Well, I bet uh, your calculus would change if everybody went outside uh, to see where the chips would, would fall. You know what I'm saying? What do you have against ghouls, anyway? That's a silly question. What I have against ghouls is that they are ghouls. Okay, fine. We'll have to go. There's no helping some people, is there? Whatever. 
I'm not interested in anything he has to sell, I don't think. All right. Uh, we've already been there. Okay, let's go upstairs, maybe? And this place, you could just keep on going, can't you? This is someone's room. Is it yours? Sorry, I opened the door into your corporeal being. All right, let's take this level at a time here. That goes up. Nope, not listening. I'm not listening. There's a lot of stuff to loot here. Oh my gosh. I mean, why do I buy anything from that guy when I could just, you know, come up here and steal? He has the same type of bonnets, right? Why would I wear a hat like that? Anyway. Hi. You're useless. Ah, uh, hello. Ah, uh, hello. You better not cause any more trouble. Who's causing trouble? Did he shut that door in my dog's face? This must be the doctor's place. You know what? I need those. Oh, those are empty. I don't need empty ones. Hmm. I don't know what was going on in there. Y'all need to go in. But give it a few minutes and try not to breathe too deep. Leaf blower. Uh, I need that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey. Okay. Who would have two leaf blowers? Just okay. We're back Charm. here. I'm sure. I'm sure. You need to go. Because I need to check the refrigerator. There you go. Wait a minute. Mylar cakes, and they're not very good. They're delicious. But besides that, not very good. Okay. Let's hit the stairs. This place is a real trip. A lot of whiskey around here. I could have had that whiskey. I could steal that whiskey. It wouldn't be stealing. Matter of fact, I'm gonna get it. I might could I might need to smooth talk somebody, you know, and Hey, hey how's it going? To Ten Penny Tower. Howdy, you have a different dress on, thank goodness. But there's something real upsetting about your face. Uh okay. Ah, hello. Hello. My goodness, this place just keeps on. Dog meat, be quiet. I'm trying to steal the literature. All right, aid. Boom. We're sneaking around. Digging through the closet. Looking for the good stuff. Dr. Banfield, okay. Is this his, uh... Oh, I see how it is. I see how it is. Okay. Shacked up tight. What time is it anyway? Nine, almost 9.30. They go to bed early. Okay. Come dog meat. I guess it'd be... Lobby? Lobby? Oh, you are listen, listening to the radio. That's hilarious. Good to see you. Yeah, got to remember. 
<laughs> That's pretty funny. If your weapon's falling apart, the next asshole you're gonna kill is you. That's fantastic. You know what we're gonna do, Mr. Dashwood? We're gonna wait on you to go to bed. We're gonna steal your key. Just because we want to, you know? Well, crap. Well, I guess... Well, that's the end of him. Uh, should we... No, no. That was kind of stupid, wasn't it? Dashwood safe key. He didn't have that on him. Before. Anything good in here? Not really. I mean, is it worth killing somebody over this? No, maybe. Nope, not really. And I'm sure the whole place is hostile now. No, it's not. Do you know what? I, I don't like that. That was awful. I crossed a line. Exploration database. Hello, Daring. May the twilight of your life be filled with the same wonder and adventure as your youth people. King Crag. Good old Craggy, King of Rockopolis. He offered Argyle and me shelter back in the summer of 48. Unfortunately, there was a little incident with his daughter and we were exiled. We sought shelter again a couple years later, but Craggy didn't take too kindly to us luring the slavers into his hidden underground city. That was the last time I ever saw Argyle, right after he saved my hide for the hundredth time. Miss Penelope Chase, two-timing bitch, got what she deserved. Okay. Destiny Chow, my dearest Destiny, Harlot par excellence, and the proprietor of the Blue Destiny Brothel. One of the loveliest women I've ever had the pleasure to pleasure. Sadly, she died from cholera in the summer of 49, an event that closed down the brothel forever. Dear me, Argyle, the best man-servant a guy could ask for, tough, loyal, and a hell of a good friend, even if he did smell like a bag of rotten meat. But what's a ghoul gonna do? The last time I saw Argyle was in Rockopolis, decades ago. I know he's still out there, somewhere. Harmon Jarley. Slaver leader and psychotic cannibal. Circa 2250. See entry on Paradise Falls. Very good places. Paradise Falls. The most dangerous dump in the capital wasteland. The slavers there would have bought and sold anything with a pulse. They still will, from what I hear. Back in my day, they were more disorganized, though. Their leader was a guy named Harmon Jurley. A psychotic son of a bitch who was rumored to eat the slaves he couldn't sell. Fantastic. Rockopolis. An underground city. Not bad accomplishment. All things considered, but the leader, King Crag, became too isolationist for his own good. Occasionally, so I... Occasionally? Where'd I bring that up? Okay, so I accidentally led the slavers there, and those bastards cleaned the place out. It was an honest mistake. Okay, so I accidentally led the slavers there, and those bastards cleaned the place out. It was an honest mistake. Blue Destiny Brothel, the best damned whorehouse in the capital wasteland. Strong booze and soft women. It shut down in the summer of 49 when most of the ladies died from a cholera outbreak. Well, crap, I was going to say sounds like the place for me, but... Underworld... A city of the dead, or undead, as some would believe. Underworld was and is a settlement of ghouls, established in an old art exhibit in the Museum of American History. Argyle and I used to go there back quite a bit. It was even voted honorary ghoul back in 51. I really should go back and visit sometime. Megaton. A town built around an undetonated atomic bomb. My kind of place. 
Megaton is really well fortified now, but back in my day, it was even more ramshackle. Great place to grab a drink or a broad. I hear Moriarty even has his own place now. Guess that shouldn't surprise me. That guy had been playing the angles since the day he ended up in this country as a kid. All right. Pests. Mirelark's everybody's favorite. Goddamn walking crabs. Tough to kill, but pretty delicious afterwards. The outer carapace is hell to penetrate, though. Good thing their face isn't armored, and Argyle had such a good right jab. Oh, he'd love the mar the uh, nuclear works, wouldn't he? Feral ghouls. Ghouls gone bad. Their brains had rotted so much they lost the ability to think straight. Argyle and I fought these hapless zombie bastards more times than I can count. I think he actually liked killing them. Saw it as some sort of revenge against God for his own situation or something. A rad scorpion. I've been a lot of places in my day, and everywhere you'd find those damn rad scorpions. Rumor was they descended from emperor scorpions, which you could find in pretty much any pet store in the country when the bombs fell. I guess that explains their population. Yagwai. Bears, or capital wastelands equivalent anyway. You're not going to find one of these babies bouncing on a big rubber ball, though. I can tell you that much. They're as vicious as they come. Razor sharp claws, razor sharp teeth, nasty, nasty temperament. You can say that again. Robo brains. I have to admit, I've always been fascinated by these things. Such an ingenious creation. A robot powered by a brain and a sexy dame's voice. Of course, I always had to wonder were they human brains? Were they actually the brains of sexy dames? Or was it all monkey brains and recordings? Anyway, I got hit by one of their mind blasts once. Hell of a headache for three days. Fascinating. Very good. Dog meat, I feel much more, I don't know, informed. Okay. I love how he has a mailbox. Interesting character, that's for sure. Ooh. Ooh. What do we got in here? We'll take that. We'll take that. We'll take that. You saw nothing. That was important, Doug Mead. My life depended upon it. Edgar Wellington. I've not met them. I probably don't care. But I stole their stuff. Beyond that, I don't care. Probably not. Let me not rattle around their junk too much. All right, dog meat. Let's get out of here. Do 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 do. Come on, come on. I need to shut the door. Nothing ever happened. We were never there. Uh, Edotronic. Oh, we'll take the mentats. And the nuka. Don't need the fire hose nozzle. Can you close that? You can't. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. You're spooky lady. You, you, I don't like you. All right, let's go. There's liquor laying around everywhere. Douchey McGee would love this place. Wouldn't he? Anywho. Whiskey. This must be what's his name's place. The Alki down in the Federalist. The one I thought wasn't so bad. Yeah. I'm not stealing his booze. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Hey. All right. So we've gone full circle. It appears. All right. So still no ten penny. I guess. I think they said he was in a penthouse suite. Can you go? Is this the way to it? Mm 
<laughs> Vaulted ceiling. Mr. Tenpenny isn't taking callers. He isn't. Uh, I'm here to see Tenpenny, but if you weren't so incompetent, you'd know that. Hold on there a minute. Oh, all right, I'll let you in, but if Tenpenny hollers because he isn't expecting you, you're dead. Well, I'll probably just kill you. I mean, what? what's the worst that could happen, right? Is he out here? Why would he be out here? Oh, there he is. I bet that's him. I'm going to make a permanent save here. Let's go down here a ways. Uh, it's like a zillion years ago. Okay, what's up, man? Fancy that. A visitor. I seldom get visitors, which is a tiresome shame, because I'm usually relentlessly bored out of my right mind. Well, you and me both. All of these confounded people fluster about like I'm made of eggshells and about to fall to pieces in any moment. I'm surprised they even let you in. So, what do you think of my fine tower here? It's quite the jewel of the wasteland, isn't it? I dare say I'm quite proud of it myself. It is pretty cool. Uh, I mean, this I, the, I, I think this, but I'm not going to say this. I am impressed. I when I saw this place jutting up out of the horizon, I knew what I had to do. I hired some muscle, and we got this place fixed up right quick. I had the great fortune to run into Mr. Berg, an absolute gem of a man. Oh, he wow. He has a way of getting done what needs to get done, doesn't he? So you... Then it was a matter of getting uh... the right type of tenants with the right type of assets, and the rest is, as they say, history. Uh-huh. So you are the one uh, behind Mr. Burke, huh? Fascinating. Tell me about it yourself. It would seem for a gentleman to talk about himself, but I'd hope this magnificent tower would speak volumes. Well, it does, actually. Quite a tower. Some might say Tenpenny Tower is my crowning achievement, but no. No, no, my dear boy, it is just the beginning. Of what? I have to go. Cheerio. Well, I mean, that was uneventful, wasn't it? So he he knew Mr. Burke. I, he must not know that Mr. Burke is no longer Mr. Burke. But Mr. Burke is a rotting corpse somewhere. And I have actually happened to have. Mr. Burke's gun right here, sir. Wouldn't it be poetic if I eliminated Tenpenny with this gun? You know, I'm not going to say the temptation's not there. Hmm. The temptation's there. But I'm, I'm a better man than that. There's a crater over there. That's interesting. I wish you could, uh, like, drop a pin, like in uh, Breath of the Wild. And... Anywho, whatever. Uh, this is a nice vantage point. Sorry, dog meat. Real nice vantage point. So, the sewer... Sewer, what am I talking about? Jehoshaphat. The tunnels... Tenpenny Tower. It says kill them. I don't want to kill them. So the tunnels are this way. Which way? Dogmeat, please get out of the way. I don't want to fall off of here because of you, man. Okay, I just want to kind of see. I mean, while I'm up here, it would be nice to take a look, but can't really see anything. Oh, well, whatever. Uh-oh, my dogs are barking. Can you hear that? I don't know what's going on. Well, I'll tell you, this is probably a good place as any to leave it off for an episode. Uh, leave a comment in the, in the uh, comments below. Let me know what you think about this episode. And what do you think about this tin penny in this tower? I, I, I 
you know, I was generally feeling I don't really like it that much. Or I don't like the people. It's a pretty nice location. Uh, and then he mentions Mr. Burke, and I instantly, like, turn off, you know. Super gross, super disturbing people. Uh, but I don't know. Let me know what you think. Uh, no spoilers, please, because I this is a blind Let's Play. And I, ha I don't know what's going to happen. But um, if you have thoughts just on Ten Penny and his tower, let me know. Like the video, too, while you're here, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Your support means a lot to me and helps me keep on making great content just like this. For now, though, I will bid you adieu and wish you well wherever you are, whenever you are. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.